Here in Comedy Club, are you ready to rock? Say, you ready to rock? All right, rock on. Uh, I'm Jason Hayes, well, let's deal with the obvious first. Let's talk about my hair. All right, look, I'm not a hippie. I'm not trying to make a statement. If I was trying to make a statement, the statement would be, I'm too lazy to get a fucking haircut. But uh, I've been thinking about cutting off all my hair because I heard that you can cut off your hair and donate it to cancer kids. So I was thinking about it. It's going to cut off all my hair and then donate it to cancer kids. But then I was like, fuck them. See, that's not even a joke. Don't laugh that. That's fucked up. Cancer kids need hair. But I'm, but I'm pissed off because I had a fucked up week last week. Last week, my neighbors called the police on me because my dog shit in my yard. My dog shit in my yard. How can that be illegal? A uniformed police officer shows up at my house. He's like, yeah, you're over the limit for how much one person can have in their yard as far as shit is concerned. So I asked him what the limit was because I figured if the limit was 15 turds and I had 19, I'd clean up four. But he wouldn't tell me the limit. He's like, you got to clean it all up. So I go out, I clean up the whole yard. I go back in the house, I'm looking out the window, the dog's shitting again. But see, I'm a guy who figures shit out. So I went out and I bought a box of rubber bands and I mixed them in with the dog's food. Then, when the dog shits, has a little rubber band tag, I just pick it up by the tag and flip it into the neighbor's yard. This was working out real well until Friday when my dog comes tearing through the house with some daredevil turd hanging from its ass with my four-year-old chasing after it trying to grab it. So you can see, I had a fucked up week, and this week isn't shaping up to be much better. <laughs> Monday was Martin Luther King Day. Martin Luther King was the man who said I had a dream. But apparently, his dream didn't include me having off from work on Monday. But the post office was closed on Monday, and I had some important shit that I had to take care of at the post office. So today, I was at the post office. There was a girl in line behind me, and she was talking on her cell phone. And she goes, oh my god, I'm so glad you called. Because I have a really funny story. Now, as you can tell, I needed shit to talk about tonight. And I'm not above stealing shit from some bitch in line at the post office. <laughs> so I started listening. She's like, oh, I have this really funny story. And three minutes in, she still didn't bring the funny. So I take out my own cell phone. And I'm like, oh my god, thank god you called. Because this bitch behind me said she had a funny story, but she never brought the fucking funny. <laughs> then she's like, you know, this is a personal and private conversation. I said, you know what? Mine is a personal private conversation too. And if you weren't listening in on my cool personal private conversation, you wouldn't know that I was listening, on, listening in on your lame conversation. <laughs> then I bought my superhero stamps and I got the hell out of there. Which is what I'm about to do here. But before I do, I want to tell you one last thing. Remember as a kid, You'd, uh, your parents would tell you things like, money doesn't grow on trees. Like, Mom, I want the new Transformers. But yeah, money doesn't grow on trees. I never understood that until I had a wife and kid of my own. Now, I don't think money should grow on trees, but I was thinking I'd like to plant a pussy tree in the backyard. Because I don't have much of a green thumb, but I would totally plant a pussy tree. And I would become the most patriotic guy in the world when that pussy tree bloomed, because I'd be like, I love my country. I'd be screaming it from the top of my lungs. <laughs> And I know the neighbors would be pissed off, but fuck them, because they called the cops, because my dog shit in my yard. Thanks a lot. I'm Jason Hazel. Y'all have a good night. <laughs>